We will start here in China and the sports authorities of the country announcing an ambitious plan. According to the 13th five-year plan for sports development, the revenue for Chinese sports will reach 3 trillion yuan or about 460 billion U.S. dollars by the end of 2020. Meanwhile, the levels of the three big ball sports known as football, basketball and volleyball will improve systematically in the country. According to the General Administration of Sport, China's overall sports industry revenue will amount to more than 3 trillion yuan, accounting for 1% in GDP, with the added value of sports service taking up to 30% in the overall sports industry. Now, the plan underlines China's supportive measures and requests for football's development in the country and includes a lottery operation system for the Chinese football leagues here. The plan further endorses the medium and long term plan of Chinese football development which was issued last month by China's National Development and Reform Commission aiming at becoming a top class soccer nation by 2050. Now the plan also lays out goals for basketball, volleyball and winter sports as well as a na nationwide fitness program. We hope more and more people can contribute in sports, the health and living standard of Chinese people. So according to the plan, more value and jobs will be created in the sports sector. Team China looking to improve their performance at the 2018 Winter Olympics in South Korea ahead of the 2022 Beijing Zhangjiakou Winter Games. Now the country will also invest heavily in nationwide fitness programs with the aim of improving health for its citizens. By 2020, it's expected there will be enough sports facilities that it would equate to about 1.8 square meters per Chinese citizen. Now, for the much-anticipated Chinese football, the plan reiterates the goal that by 2020, both the men's and women's teams will have impressive results at the World Cup, Asian Cup, and Olympics. Now, to achieve that, China will have about 20,000 football academies, 7,000 pitches, and hoping more than 50 million people can play the beautiful game on a regular basis. The ultimate goal is for the country to become a top-class football nation by the middle of the century. As for basketball, the men's and women's national teams are results of the Rio Games. The men have already qualified. The women are in the process of doing so. The country will also hope to hold a successful FIBA World Cup in 2019 and continue to improve its results at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. As for volleyball, the Chinese women are expected to maintain their leading position in both the Rio and Tokyo Olympics. Meanwhile, the men's team will try to narrow its gap with world powers and try to secure a berth to the Tokyo Games.